The city of Statesboro proposing another millage rate increase for the second year in a row, and it would raise taxes by nearly 25 percent. WSAV's Eden Hodges has been talking with city leaders to find out why they think this is necessary. With the growth across the county, property values are starting to go up. And with that, we're seeing millage rates start to roll back. But for the city of Statesboro to keep their already approved budget, they have some big decisions to make. Whatever they decide, we're going to live with it. But we do recommend the millage rate increase. Up to the Statesboro City Council to raise property taxes or roll back. City Manager Charles Penny says they're keeping a similar focus to last year's budget, recruiting and retaining quality city employees with a focus on public safety. We're in a struggle for talent, uh, and we want to keep as much good talent working for the city of Statesboro as we can. Penny says he's crunched the numbers and recommends it, saying they need to balance the general fund, of which over 60% is used just for payroll and staff benefits. He says without a balanced budget, they'd have to take a substantial amount from the city's savings, which he says grows pretty slowly. The pay plan is important to ensure that we remain competitive and we don't lose talent to Hyundai and other folks in the region. In their calculations, the owner of a $200,000 home in Statesboro would pay an additional $140 in January on their property taxes. According to the Bullitt County Tax Assessor, the median home value in Statesboro is about $160,000. Because of the implementation of the pay plan, we, we need a higher millage rate this year. Uh, and and um, if we don't get it this year, we're still going to be facing it again next year. The city will hold another public hearing on the proposed increase. That's happening on September 17th. Reporting from the Statesboro Bureau at Georgia Southern University, I'm Eden Hodges, WSAV News 3, on your side.